everyone. Thanks for coming in for another video. I'm so glad that you're here. We're going to do a quick little haul. I've really been enjoying bringing you not just jewelry jars and thrift hauls and so forth and ride alongs, but also some jewelry hauls. And jewelry hauls are basically what I've picked up throughout the week or the month or a couple of months, things that I find online, things that I find in auctions, different auctions throughout YouTube. I will mention some. If I forget to mention others, it's probably because I've mentioned it a million times. <laughs> but there's been some amazing auctions and I always enjoy frequenting them. And uh, many of them are very reputable and very, very interesting items will be found there. I can't wait to bring you one from Sugar Vision. If you have not checked out his channel, please do. He's a true aficionado, just a wonderful young man who has an absolute passion for collecting jewelry and he is so much fun. I can't wait to bring you what I purchased from him in his auction recently and I hope to see many more auctions from him. But anyway, if you haven't taken the time to subscribe, I hope you take the time today. The subscription button's on the right. It's always free. And uh, I, like I said, I will bring you jewelry jars. I have a whole bunch of them recorded for you. I am off to my Chicago flight early morning dawn, actually. So um, I wanted to get this one under my belt and make sure that you get another haul as well as jewelry jars. So let's get started. This is a wonderful piece that I actually won in a giveaway. And um, I'm very intrigued by it because it's actually on a on a chain and I love when sterling beads are on a chain like this but this is not sterling I think it's just brass and gold tone but it's such a nice substantial weight that I mean it's just incredible it looks so nice and feels so nice and it dra drapes just beautifully I hope you can see I think that. you can see it there so I love 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 this incredible piece. I love it it looks so pretty layered with either pearls or smaller beads and other chains. It's probably 16 inches long. No mark on it, which really surprised me because it almost looks gold filled from the chain. It's got a beautiful gold filled color. Let's see if that works for us. Then I got this beautiful, beautiful brooch. I fell in love with this. I am dying to wear this with a plain long sleeve structured shirt right in the center as if it was a pendant i just adore it i love leopard print i love anything with uh, little critters and that's just gorgeous it's not anything uh really that that i can see a mark or anything it's just probably someone actually even just glued that together i don't know but I love it. They put rhinestone eyes. Look at the size of that. That is the size of my hand. I am just dying to wear this. I love it. That would look great on a beret too. Oh, I love it so much. That is so pretty. Then remember I told you I was going to buy some trolls. I always had troll jewelry. And I think, I think Gina popped out with a troll necklace from one of her bags. And I was like, oh, I need a troll in my life. Because God knows we have trolls here on YouTube who have nothing better to do. But what they need is love. And this is a troll sharing love. Isn't he darling? Found him on eBay. And it is from Russ. Seed clasp on that. I just adore it. I don't think you need to wait for Valentine's to wear this. I'm actually going to probably pin it right here on my background somewhere. Right there. Show Thelma some lovely little trolls you no really so i didn't stop there i found another fantastic troll brooch this one is a leaf with rhinestones red blue green and even a pearl and this is in excellent condition and i am so surprised there is no maker on this thing it's beautiful so it's a simple leaf and the troll is just resting there almost looks like he's holding something I can't quite he's oh he's got some booby belly button or something look at that and green eyes I think he's so interesting I love him so yeah I went hunting for trolls troll jewelry and I actually did have a whole lot of troll jewelry at one time um, I found a huge box of trolls one time like a you know one of those carrying cases for toys and there was jewelry in there too, but 
I sold it for really good money on Etsy. Right, then I found these in a wonderful grab bag that I got from Cindy at Cindy Loves Jewelry. And she was selling grab bags for $10. And uh, mystery bags, a few pieces of jewelry. So wonderful, wonderful little grab bag that I got. I love this color block. It reminds me of early 90s. Just so, you know, kind of United Colors of Benetton, that kind of thing. I love this look. Those are awesome. Love those. And then from Cindy, I also got these amazing Jocla style earrings. They do have genuine turquoise on the uh, beads are genuine. The coral is genuine and the fetish bears are also genuine. They are on sterling cones there. I know they were tested and I tested them as well. I know Cindy tests all her jewelry. Actually, I believe that these may have been changed. I think someone turned them into post because these usually come with hooks. But I kind of like the way they look with post and I feel like they're more secure. There was no sterling mark on them that I see, but again, they were tested by, by Cindy and by me and they're definitely genuine little pieces there, aren't they darling? They're about three inches long. I adore Adore those earrings they are so pretty thing I bought from Cindy was this beautiful heart with a genuine lapis stone and this is kind of a, I think it's a brass and I'm still looking for a mark on it because it's just made so well but I'll tell you what it actually came on this chain and this chain is perfectly fine it even has a nice little antique color but it's a herringbone and I just don't like to put any pendants on herringbones. I really think they, they're they made to be worn alone, in my opinion. So I took that off and I knew I would find the perfect chain and I did. I found a gold filled chain that actually had this little pendant on it. And I don't know where I got it, probably a jewelry jar. It has this gold filled pendant on it. It has two shades of gold there or gold fill. Very nice and convenient to be able to find the perfect chain and it threads through the back. I love that. It's got a wonderful kind of Victorian look to it. I thought that was wonderful. And then I got this ring from her as well. This was um, billed as an iolite and I hear that word so many times. Everyone says something is an iolite. So I wanted to see what an iolite was. Now she was told by the seller that it was an iolite and um, so I'm sure it is. And it's a beautiful stone. I probably should have cleaned it up a little bit because I've been handling it. But I've never seen such a pretty little stone. It kind of reminds me of um, a little bit of an uh, Alexandrite, honestly. Except it doesn't have a color change. It's got all of the colors kind of embedded in there. So there's some pink. There's some purple. There's some gold. It's got a delicate little band on it. And it's sterling silver. And it fits perfectly on the middle finger. I think it's so beautiful. I love that. I also love the fancy cut on this. Do they call them fancy cuts? I forget. I forgot if they're called fancy cuts or galaxy cuts. But look, well, if it's an octagon or a hexagon, but it's got an amazing cut. Isn't that pretty? So I was really anxious to get it because again, I hear the name Iolite constantly. And I've never actually seen one, so that is really nice. Oh, this was in here from, I don't know where I got this. This I just put that in, in there. I was showing my sister something last night. So that is not a recent thing. I, that's a sterling brooch, though. It's a little mini brooch. Really pretty, kind of a kind of Art Nouveau style. All right, and then I guess we can go to the back here and look at this beautiful liquid silver. This is an unsigned liquid silver. And what I loved about this, not only because it's probably got, I don't know, 30 strands. Let me see, maybe 20. It's three, six. It's got 30 strands. I, I counted them. Yeah, it's got 30 strands. I have a huge collection of liquid silver. I've been collecting it since I was about 17 years old. All right, this is a 16 inch. I have Native American, Southwestern, all kinds. But I've never found one in a 16 inch. I have another one that's, um, I think it is, I think it's an 18 inch and it only has about 20 strands, but this one has 30 strands. There is um, no mark on it except kind of a flower 
And just for your information, guys, sometimes these will say sterling. Sometimes they'll be hallmarked by the makers. And sometimes they have like a little sunrise rays and everything. And that does not necessarily mean they're na Native American with those little sunrise symbols or arrow symbols or whatnot. Because these cones can be bought by anyone, anywhere. In, uh, jewelry supplies, even Hobby Lobby has these sterling cones. That doesn't necessarily mean that, but just be aware of that. Anyway, it is a 30 strand, 16 incher, and I just fell in love with it. It's so weighty, so well made. And when you look at really nicely made liquid silver, you can feel it. It literally feels like liquid in your hands. It's so buttery and wonderful. Now this little pendant here is interesting. I found this at a, at a Goodwill a long time ago. It's a very thick solid, and I have tested it solid. Uh, Mexican sterling silver piece and I'm still not sure if this is white buffalo or how like I thought it was white buffalo for the longest time but I keep looking at uh, websites and learning about white buffalo and uh, now I'm kind of in the I don't know stage <laughs> you tell me but you know even experts consult experts so I'm not going to be here to, I'm not going to be the one to say that's what I think it is but I did show it to um I showed it to Sandy when I got it, and she said it was white buffalo, but even Sandy is very humble, very humble about identifying stones. You will learn that quickly about her. Uh, and that's Sandy over at Just Sandy um, here on YouTube. She she makes, she's a silversmith, and she cuts her own stones yes, in videos. All right, another wonderful thing that I got was this little amber, and this was so funny because last week I had a choice auction choice you know when you offer more than one thing to start the bidding and this was going to be included in it along with these amazing earrings and I wanted to show them to you they were the size of quarters they were so beautiful and they were kind of an art nouveau style but I couldn't find it and I went ahead and auctioned off the other two pieces which was a bracelet and the earrings and I was going to include this in the choice because I think it's lovely just as well but uh, I couldn't find it. I put it down for a second and it got lost in, in the array of jewelry that I keep on this desk. So I found it. I'll probably offer it next week. I think it's gorgeous. I do love amber. I, I like the, um, especially the really bright honey color. Beautiful perfume flask. I have a weakness for perfume flasks. I kind of wish it had a little, a little way for me to wear it on a chain, though. I think that'd be so fun. I have a, a wonderful Hermes bottle on a on a leather rope I think I've showed it to you before and I just love the look of them but yeah you can fill this up with perfume it's never been used and yesterday I actually ran into a funnel on eBay I should have bought it, it was a teeny little perfume funnel and it was made of sterling as well but I thought oh, I don't think I need it so I didn't buy it but now I'm probably gonna go look for it because this needs a funnel so I can fill it with perfume and this one's signed Sterling, Mexico. So I'm not sure about the date on this. I think it's a more modern piece, honestly, with that uh, hallmark. Again, it's the word Sterling and the word Mexico. Not Hecho in Mexico or anything like that, just Mexico. All right, but that is lovely. I just love this. This one I got from Makeup Zombie a couple of months ago. And I put it in my jewelry box really quickly and hung it up. Um, I have a little place where I kind of pin some brooches, my sterling, my good brooches in my armoire, in my jewelry armoire. And I was thinking it was made in Mexico, but I don't see a Mexico mark at all. All I see is, unless I'm missing it, all I see is the sterling mark. Um, so I'm not sure. Honestly, I don't know if it's... Native American or Southwestern, but I was under the assumption it was Mexican, and uh, either way, it's just beautiful. It's very dimensional. I love it. It's big. It's what, about three inches? Three and a half inches long, and that's because it has a curve. It's gorgeous. Really pretty. Again, with Makeup Zombie, I got um, this ring, and I love this. This is hematite. This is faceted hematite. All right. I thought it was Mexican because of the design. It looks like kind of the 70s Mexican jewelry but it only says sterling and it has like a little chevron mark on the inside and it says sterling and then see that little mark there so now I am uh, kind of stumped no it's not isn't it beautiful I have another hematite ring from her it's kind of a, 
a bead so it looks like a black pearl it's so pretty and it's set really high like this I love 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 this design it's kind of a modernist design very cool and it when you see real hematite you'll never be fooled by the imitation hematites out there they do a lot of costume jewelry with the imitation hematite so I love to get a hold of the real thing. That is gorgeous. I got this from another auction, and this is just a really pretty hummingbird. Little big, and I was hoping it would fit me on my thumb, but it's too small for my thumb. It's still pretty, though. I love it. It's a nice little stacker ring to wear with other rings. I got this. Oh, my gosh. This was also from, and I, I don't know if I told you this is for Denim and Diamonds. This one was also from Denim to Diamonds. Uh, auctions here on YouTube as well and this one says gem craft it is sterling and she really hadn't um, tested the pearls so she wasn't sure if they were real but they are indeed real and they are huge and they are beautiful and they're encased in this cage in this brutalist style oh my gosh that is such an awesome ring let me just put it on this thing so you can see that it is weighty. Even my mother loved it. She was here last night. And she was like, that's a beautiful ring. Isn't that interesting? It looks so organic. That is made like with one continuous piece of silver just curled and swirled and encasing those amazing, those beautiful pearls. And those pearls have an amazing orient, amazing luster of pink and blue and rainbow oh my gosh i just love it and it's so heavy that it is a little big on me because of the top because it's top heavy it does spin a little bit but i've never seen a ring like it again the hallmark on that is gem craft so i haven't researched the company or anything i don't know anything about it but i am in love with this ring i think it's gorgeous all right on to malachite love this malachite now malachite does tend to be a soft stone so it will show some wear pretty quickly and it'll also lose luster quickly so you have to be really careful don't wear them too often this one is simply marked sterling nice piece though kind of a navajo style i'd have to say it's definitely navajo style not sure if it is it's not marked like i said but it's just marked sterling so that's a possibility, but I love it anyway. I love that green color. This one is interesting. This one is kind of a Tibetan style. What does it say? Just 925. Just 925 on that. It's a nice hunk of lapis, though. Beautiful hunk of lapis there. And it's a larger ring. I think it's an 8. A very pretty piece. It's got a nice mixture of color. Almost some yellow and white and gold in there. I like the richness, even though gemologists prefer a really deep, dark, uh, pyrite-free um, lapis. I like them both. All right, then I won this at a, on a giveaway. I could not believe that. It is so this pretty. This one is Mark KC. Mark there, it's Mark KC. It is a bronze. It kind of reminded me of a bars, and I know bars has a, a line called Kindled by Bars. This is genuine amethyst in there. That is a nice hunk of amethyst. I really love the look, love the look of the, the the different metals. The the um, you know I think it blends. This is 14 karat gold. I think it blends perfectly with your gold, your silver, and I just love the style. It's very kind of um, organic looking. I love the way it's just nestled there. That's a nice one. And then this one. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. This was actually billed as a men's ring, and I thought that's just gorgeous for a man yes but i love it too look how it stands up I'm not sure who the designer is it is marked sterling and china it has been tested and it's beautiful it's got rich pyrite in there really rich color nice gold specks and almost marling of the the pyrite little poofs of of that golden color in there i like this too it's kind of textured with uh, kind of a mill grain work on that so that's amazing i love it's it me on my pointer and my middle finger and that's a that's a honker i love it i think it's really pretty guys this is like wow first of all it i knew it wasn't the designer that i've been seeking <laughs> i forgot her name though and every time I see my cousin, I want to ask her because she never takes off her ring by this particular designer. But hers has a lot more detail in it. It is definitely not the same kind of 
style as this one, but it is um, the um, the Blessed Mother. Or actually, is the uh, Virgin of Guadalupe, Virgen de Guadalupe. So it's kind of an abstract design of her, and I thought it was very similar to the one my cousin wears, but I forget who that designer is. But she has the designer does quite a bit of not just religious icons, but other types of things, and she does trunk shows at Neiman's and other places. But I keep forgetting her name. But this was definitely a good second choice since I can't remember that <laughs> that designer's name, and I just love the the presence of this ring is that not beautiful it is one of those rings i don't know what they call this type of casting where it's kind of lightweight it's not as heavy as it looks it is sterling but um and many rings are made like this i love this ring i think it's so pretty and i like the kind of abstract image you can still see the image but it's kind of abstract, so I love it. This one's marked Mexico 925. So obviously a modern day piece, and uh, just adore it. I think it's just so right. Then I got this Sage. This one actually has an adjustable band, which is fabulous, because not only is it adjustable, but it also has like a comfort bead on the back, some beadwork on the back to keep it nice and soft on your finger. This is called, I don't know, the octopus or something like that. It's really pretty. kind of looks like the uh, tentacles of an octopus. And then it has a blue topaz. A very nice colored topaz, too. It blends well with the abalone colors. So that's a pretty, pretty piece. I did bring this to auction last week. Didn't sell yet. But I thought I would show it before it sells. Like I said, the beautiful the amber sold. And I didn't get a chance to bring it to you. And show it and to you. That's why I'm doing these hauls is because I bring things in, I bring them to auction, and you guys don't even get to see them. And I really want you to to see what I'm finding out and about. So, and I don't always bring everything to auction. Like this, some of these things will definitely find a place in my jewelry box. Here's another piece that I was told was amber, and I don't know what it is. It doesn't feel like amber. Could be some kind of a doublet. It is a Native American piece. I have looked up the um, the mark, and I don't remember the name right now. But I and I've seen this stone before, but I cannot, I cannot identify. Kind of buttery yellow. It has little specks. So let me know. Let me know what you know about this stone. Could be some kind of composite. Composite. I'm not sure. There it is. There, but it's beautiful. It's got. Some wonderful uh, feather designs. Of course, the feathers are hallmarks of the 70s, but this is this could have been made this year and last year, whatnot, because a lot of people are doing the retro design. It's considered kind of the traditional designs now, so they they harken back to the feather designs that were really prolific in the 70s. So um, that may be the case. I'm not sure, but I'm really more concerned with what that stone is. So if you guys know anything, let me know. Yeah, and I'm really getting very interested in the modern designs, the modern Native American designs as well. I think they are so amazing, and I'm hoping to get some very soon. All right, here's an old piece, older piece as well. That pyrite matrix on this ring, that gorgeous blue, I'm not even going to guess what kind of a stone I think it is, but I know it's amazing. It's a deep, beautiful blue color. It's got a little feather over at the top, applique. It's got a little feather applique there. Found it online. But, um, and they don't always answer your questions when you ask them what's the size of the face and so forth. But I got it at a great price, so I figured I would like it either way. And I do indeed. That's a gorgeous piece, unsigned, whatnot. But anyway, that's a gorgeous ring. I adore that color and found that online this is another beautiful piece that i just got the trunks are down this is a heavy heavy 925 ring i believe it's just marked simply 925 perfect thumb ring i may have to wear that one so i, su I suppose it's an eight or a nine yeah i kind of like the thick rings too i just love this ring i like heavy sterling rings that's what i'm looking for these days too 
To me, that really, really denotes quality. The gauge of that sterling is important to me. It's nice to, to be able to get that because that's a substantial weighty ring and that I like that. All right, I think we saw all the rings, right? We saw the pearl, malachite, iolite, beautiful sterling, lapis, sagin, and uh, I was wearing my coral 14 karat. I think it's 18 actually. Let me check. 18. Yeah, I was wearing my vintage coral 18 karat with lion heads on the side. I adore this ring. And on this side, I'm wearing a topaz. I did a whole video on this topaz ring, 14 karat. So, oh, this is another one I got from Cindy. I think this was in the grab bag. And I brought this not because is it sterling or anything, but I see many people running into this brand. And this is actually a well-made costume piece. It is by the Vatican Collection, and Dillard's carried this. So this is definitely replicas and um, of what is inside of the Vatican. So a lot of the jewelry that's in the Vatican or in their art or whatnot has been depicted in this in these pieces and Dillard's carried them a few years ago and they were very expensive I'm talking like a necklace like this would have been about fifty dollars so don't uh, if you find one in good condition some people still are searching for them on eBay because they make wonderful designs I don't think they have them at Dillard's anymore but they definitely put out a prolific range of items okay then I found this I think this came in another giveaway and I was going to bring you this because I have seen these sweater clips in many different styles, but I've never seen these kind of modern looking ones. One that has kind of a modernist look to it, which with that brushed tip on each side and the high polish in the middle. And I'm wondering also, do you guys wear these? Do you collect them? I think they would look really pretty holding a collar as well, like a, a nice crisp Oxford shirt, and then maybe pin these and give it kind of a necklace effect. I think that would be cool. The day, they were having an auction over at uh, Adrian and, and Dawn's channels, and Dawn was posed with a, a very interesting question. Adrian asked her, they are quite the purveyors and they have wonderful both together have a wonderful collection of vintage jewelry. And they were talking about the lack of quality in costume jewelry today. And they asked her, uh, Adrian asked Dawn if she thought there was anyone that he was, he was even close to vintage Monet and so forth and so on. And of course I won't get into her entire answer, but she was saying that really no, because some of Chanel's things aren't even as good as vintage Monet. And then she said that Kendra Scott was a very good example of quality jewelry today. But I was thinking about Lucky Brand. This is Lucky Brand. Where did I get this? I think this came in. Oh, I got this from, from Cindy Lowe's Jewelry as well. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people collect Lucky Brand. Lucky Brand makes very, very nice costume jewelry. It's not everyone's aesthetic. They do have a boho kind of a vibe they do have kind of a boho very modern very uh maybe youthful following but they make very unique items and everything that i find from them is in great condition i love the design of this, this is like a little belt of chains it's got a buckle with with chains going through it and the chains are antiqued gold kind of a copper and a silvery so I think definitely if I would have been asked that question, and of course I didn't think about it then, but uh, I'd have to say Lucky Brand is definitely one. What costume jewelry designer are you thinking has good quality jewelry these days? Because the last I remember is like Joan Rivers, you know, honestly, unless you really go. But even, you know, even the Monet today and the Napier today is not the Monet and Napier of yesterday. And even higher end, I have walked into a Chanel boutique and I have seen their costume jewelry and I'm not impressed with the quality of it. And I have found some of their vintage jewelry and it just doesn't compare. I almost forget so, to show you this little, um, I don't know if it's Native American or not, it's simply stamped sterling. It looks like a petty point and needlepoint design here. I think it's supposed to be a butterfly. It's a very, very thin 
sterling it is sterling i did test it and it's very pretty i, I think it's a beautiful style i like that but it's not a very heavy it's a very lightweight sterling really a pretty design i like so it so pretty very feminine very nice to stack with other rings so i think i showed you everything i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you did let me know what costume jewelry that you like today oh and i'd have to say the vintage uh, betsy johnson is amazing as well we've talked about that before but her vintage things were incredible and very 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 collectible right now so guys if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up don't forget to come back for another one let me know if you're enjoying these hauls so i can bring you more and i hope you enjoy the videos i have stocked up for you to watch all of the jewelry jars i've been finding and making videos for you don't forget to subscribe give it a thumbs up on the way out and i'll see you soon bye bye